Okay, so we're heading into the demo room for AMD's Polaris 10 and 11 powered RX 480, 470, and 460 graphics cards. But the subject of today's video is actually not the graphics cards, but rather the next generation display experiences that they're going to enable. So inside there are gonna be some things I've seen before. Uh, 5K monitors, free sync, and high dynamic range or HDR. But there are also gonna be some things I have never seen before. Uh, single cable 5K, free sync over HDMI, and finally, HDR on the PC. Let's go have a look. So demo number one. This is a 5K 60 hertz display. In fact, it's one I've seen before, that gorgeous one from Dell running off of a single display port cable coming out of the PC. So how did they achieve that? Well, that's a great question. DisplayPort 1.3 has 87% more bandwidth than DisplayPort 1.2, which was the previous standard that required two cables coming out of the computer. So you can see, because there aren't actually any 5K DisplayPort 1.3 monitors yet, they're using this fantastic cardboard box to take the single DP 1.3 and have it come out as two DP 1.2s, but the point is that the card, the Polaris card, supports it. And this is with no physical connector chain. Although, to be clear, DisplayPort 1.3 can run off of a USB Type-C connector. Now there's more that is going to be great about this than just 5K displays. It's not applicable to everyone. You're gonna be able to run two 4K 60 Hertz displays off of a single cable using MST. You're gonna be able to achieve higher refresh rates. So we're talking 240 Hertz 1080p monitors or even 1440p monitors in SDR. We're gonna be talking 4K 120 Hertz displays, which is gonna help a lot, by the way, with a Adaptive refresh rate 4K monitors, giving them a much broader window. Current ones are limited to about 40 to 60 hertz for FreeSync, whereas newer ones are going to be able to go anywhere from 30 all the way up to 120 hertz, giving a much smoother gaming experience. Bam! But that's not the only thing that's new with FreeSync. Behind me here, I was, in theory, going to have an AMD GPU running HDMI 2.0 for the first time that I'd ever seen one do it, and running FreeSync over HDMI. But unfortunately, they apparently don't have any of those monitors here, but I'll tell you guys about it anyway, because this is pretty freaking big stuff. The HDMI spec actually does not include any variable refresh rate provisions. So AMD ran out and built their own extension to HDMI 2 that allows variable refresh rate over HDMI. And the cool thing about this is it is not a walled garden and AMD would allow the HDMI form to go ahead and adopt their standard if they want or create their own that just kind of runs completely independently. Pretty freaking cool. Now, there are competing solutions to FreeSync, variable refresh rate gaming, that you've probably heard of. <coughs> Sync. Sorry, I've got a, I'm a little bit sick, as you guys have probably noticed. And we have seen it running over HDMI in the past, but only kind of in a you know dark corner of a demo room somewhere. This is official. Now, there is more limited resolution and frame rate support compared to DisplayPort 1.3, but that's just a function of the lower bandwidth of HDMI 2.0. Oh, still a heck of a lot better than a kick in the nuts, if you know what I mean. And here's the other kicker. There are 28 displays. Why none of them could be here, I don't know. But there are 28 displays out there supporting HDMI FreeSync already. Our third demo, by contrast, haha, <laughs> this will be funny in a minute, does not have a ton of monitor support yet. Behind me, we have HDR content running on a TV and on a monitor off of a Polaris GPU. Now, this is not your grandpa's HDR running on Half-Life Lost Coast where it's all in-engine. This is more of an HDR ecosystem that involves hardware on the card, hardware on the TV, and a software layer. So what is HDR then? In a nutshell, HDR delivers more colors, which as panel technology catches up in the future will allow us to take advantage of the entire Rec 2020 color space, but, and 
perhaps more importantly, it delivers more contrast. So what that means is that HDR panels are much brighter. That doesn't mean that it's just going to like blast light into your face, though. It means that the brightest parts of the scene, whether it's a star or whether it's a, a candle on a bedside table, are going to have more detail present in them without affecting the detail that's also present in the shadows. So gone, hopefully, will be the days of things like BenQ's black equalizer, which just, you know, cranks the gamma on the monitor so you can see details in the shadows. This is a much more natural way to view content, whether it's games or whether it's movies. And the really cool thing here is in the demos behind me, you see an HDR certified TV running HDR content. You see some monitor that has the HDR content running on it and it is mapped to take best advantage of it. And then over there to the, my right, you've got just a non-HDR monitor that's using Reinhardt tone mapping to an SDR display for HDR content to deliver the best possible experience that that one can. That's what it's all about. The best experience that can be delivered depending on the hardware that's present. AMD is doing a giveaway. Woo, yeah! They're giving away one Polaris 10 graphics card and one Polaris 11 graphics card. And to keep it really simple, I'm not gonna stand here and talk for 10 minutes about how you enter to win. All you gotta do is check out the link in the video description for a chance to have a brand new shiny AMD graphics card. So go do it. Go have all these display inputs we talked about. Outputs. So that was the next generation display demos from the demo room here at AMD's Polaris Tech Day. I hope you guys enjoyed it, but if you didn't, well, hey, you know what to do. Be a hater like this guy. Yeah, that's right, you walk away. But if you did like it, hit that like button, get subscribed, maybe even consider supporting us. You can buy a cool shirt like this at the link in the video description. You can join our forum at the link in the video description. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you again next time there's a big tech day. This is basically the only way I can talk right now. <laughs>